Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. And today, more updates coming in for the Ghana Black Stars as they prepare for that game versus Nigeria. The latest we're getting is that Kudus Mohamed is likely to miss that game versus the Nigeria Super Eagles and Uganda, the international friendlies. And uh, I'll be giving you the scoop on that as well. A second day of training in Marrakesh uh, took place today ahead of the final day of training tomorrow and then the pre-match uh, press conference. We'll, look at, we'll have a look at all that today, but as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates. So uh, the Ghana Black Stars, as we already know, are preparing for that game. 23 players by the last count and update that was given by the FA reported in camp and they are ready to go uh, for that game uh, versus uh, Nigeria. You can call it a friendly, we can call it whatever you want, uh, but uh, it is a game in which both teams will want to have the bragging rights, the fans at least. But it's also known that it's just a friendly for the professionals involved. And uh, because of that, clubs are delaying or are reluctant to release some key players. Thomas Pate was one of them and he has been injured for a while. So it's quite clear that they do not want to exacerbate or get him back uh, to uh, those uh, conditions which made him unavailable for Arsenal. Arsenal are pushing for the title and Thomas Partey, despite being a bit power player, he's integral to that. So he excused himself as the FA reported. Inyaki Williams as well, an injury recovery fully is what he needs right now. And uh, Kudus Mohamed has uh, fallen into that same category here. The latest coming in is that Kudus Mohamed is set to miss the game versus Nigeria and the games versus Nigeria and Uganda after complaining of shoulder issues. And now the midfielder was included in Otuado's squad for the match international friendlies. Uh, but uh, according to reports making the rounds from three sports, he is going to meet miss the game and the confirmed the midfielder's absence as Akudus' number 20 jersey has been handed uh, to another player uh, to the, for those two games, confirming the midfielder's absence. The source close to the Black Stars reveal Kudus is nursing a shoulder discomfort after last weekend's game uh, for West Ham United against Aston Villa. The Ghanaian lasted the entirety of the game against Aston Villa at the London Stadium, but is believed to have complained of pain after the match. On West Ham's website, the 23-year-old was not listed as one of the players to go on international break and will now stay in London uh, to recover fully. Uh, during the 2023 AFCON, Kudus missed the first game against Gilbert due to a tight hamstring, was only deemed fit against Egypt and Mozambique. In Kudus's absence, midfielders Francis Sabu and Forsen Amangwa have been added debut call-ups into the Black Stars. Uh, Ghana will face Nigeria on March 22nd, and both games will be in Marrakesh. So Kudus Mohamed is, was nursing an injury after that game versus Aston Villa. It's good that he's taking care of himself. It's a friendly, we know what he's capable of. He's not one of the players who Otto has to really have played this game in order to assess him well. Uh, the new guys uh, have uh, been called up. Uh, we'll see what they have for us and whether they can deliver the job in the absence of these first team starters. Unfortunately that we don't have Kudus Mohamed, but I'm not really bothered because, and uh, I have said it already, it's just a friendly game and uh, nothing to uh, stress over if you're a player. The Nigerian Super Eagles as well have had players withdrawing due to injury. Uh, so yeah, uh, Victor Osimhen is one of those players and it's really not anything new. I think it's something normal. It's what's said to happen and uh, it is going uh, to probably affect the intensity of game, but it's an opportunity if you're a new player who has been called up into the Ghana national team. Uh, looking at yesterday, the new guys that were called up into the team, 
and uh, they have taken part in their second day of training. Osman Ibrahim, Osman Bukhari, all were in training today as they arrive late at Mont Addo. So 23 players take part in day two of training. It's not certain whether any more will join the camp. It's a 23. So the Black Stars are looking uh, uh, to assess things, uh, Coach Otoado that is, and see how best he can assemble this group of boys and get them uh, on the right note. It's been a mixed bag. A lot of you are saying I'm, I've been quite negative of late and I don't know how I've been negative, if you can state it out to me, but it's it's unfortunate it's unfortunate if that's a divide you get but can you really blame me uh, back to back afcon disappointments the team not gelling and doing well it's not anything to be happy about but despite that we still have to be optimistic we still have to be positive and hope that Otoaro and the boys appointed for the job can get us over the line the next big assignment is the World Cup qualifies in June. Two games will be played in the off-season when the season is over. And we will be hoping that these boys are ready to go. We need them to be 100% ready to go. They are in training and they've, they've, they've gone through the, the staff. Uh, three goalkeepers are in camp. David Akologo obviously did not come. Uh, Frederick Asari, hopefully they all get a chance to exhibit what they are capable of and let us see what they can do as i said there will be a watch along and we've finally got the location it's in osu it's, well it's adjust adjacent the bedway office in osu and uh, we'll be giving you digital addresses and everything uh, soon but you can join us there on friday the kickoff time for ghana versus nigeria is 3 p.m gmt so friday afternoon 3 p.m gmt it's a working day, I know, but I'm sure uh, some people can not make it and we'll watch the game together, have a couple of drinks and uh, shout and banter over Ghana Black Stars. The Football Fan Stripe team are here in Accra and uh, we are going to be doing this with them. So we'll see how that one goes on that front and we'll let you guys know that hopefully some of you can join us and enjoy that session with us that has been it for today a day two of training official training after uh, the players came in and had uh, the last bit of players uh, seven of them joined the 16 that were already in camp to take the number to 23 also talking about kudus muhammad set to miss the game ghana versus nigeria and uganda due to a soda problem he had in the game versus Aston Villa. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.